as a defense against despair, we are taught to pray, lead us not into temptation. Not because God would tempt anyone. He doesn't tempt anyone, but because we're surrounded by it. We live in a world that is full of temptation. The devil constantly attacks Christians. Honestly, pinch yourself. If you are... um, still alive, there's going to be temptation because the temptation comes from your own heart to sin. In a world that is altogether too full of sin and temptation from the devil, the world, and our own sinful flesh, we uh, pray in this petition that God would guard and keep us so that we would not be delivered into false belief, despair, another great shame, and vice. God, keep us from the world. Keep us from the devil. Keep us from ourselves. When we fall into temptation, we can recognize that we have already won the victory because we will fall into temptation. We do fall into temptation, but we do have a God who does not abandon us to it. We pray that ultimately, at last, we would finally overcome these things and win the victory, that we would be brought through this veil of tears, through this awful place full of temptation, away from this sinful flesh, and finally let it be put to death, that it can rise again free from all of it. When everything feels like too much, when you feel just overwhelmed by all the things that are going on in the world, and when it feels like God is not helping, we can pray. Lead us not into temptation, recognizing that he has already won for us the victory, and daily and richly he does forgive us, so that when we do fall into temptation, he would let, let us be known by it, but that he would also guard and keep us, and hopefully we would we would struggle, that, that we, we would fight. And, and stop marking the wins and, and losses by whether or not we resisted temptation, but simply recognize that there will be temptation. And so I would rather be near God than be near temptation. And since I can't escape temptation, I really need to be reminded that I can't escape God either. He pursues me. He guards me. He keeps me. And ultimately, he rescues me now and at last on that last great day.